There's one here. And see how quickly these salamanders move under. Oh, what's this? What's this? Aha! Something very special. Is I didn't even see this guy the first time I looked. I'm gonna be very careful here handling these tiny amphibians. But this is a rare find. This is also a red-backed salamander, but it's a fairly uncommon color morph. A dark phase red-backed salamander, not the tawny brown like the majority of red-backed salamanders found here. These are often called lead-backed because of their gray color. You may lift up a log or a flat board and see red-backed and then one of these and say, oh, two different kinds of salamanders, but no. In fact, this is a rarer color morph of the red-backed salamander, all gray very often called a lead back. And remember, this is an animal that breathes through its skin. Isn't that incredible? We have such amazing animals living all around us. Well then, two species of salamanders. One aquatic, that's the spotted. One terrestrial, that's the red back. Here we go. This is an early bullfrog. Oh, that's an alarm call. He's agitated, so I won't hold him very long. This is an early... That's an alarm call. Please don't eat me. A beautiful male bullfrog. One of the warmest days in April, and here we are. We know it's a male for two reasons bright yellow throat. You ever heard a bullfrog do that before? That's an alarm call. I'm gonna let you go, buddy. Large tympanum. This is the bullfrog's ear, called a tympanum. Larger than the eye on the males, about the same size as the eye on a female bullfrog. And female bullfrogs don't have this bright yellow throat that this large, beautiful amphibian shows. Frogs have very wide, very flat, large surface area on the roof of their mouth, and that's the second way that frogs uh, get oxygen from the water, from the moisture, through the membrane of uh, the roof of their mouth. Very, very thin, lots of blood vessels. That's how they get oxygen, through their skin, epidermal, dermal respiration, skin breathing. Well, he just woke up after winter hibernation, and here comes Mr. Troll to catch him, and he thinks, well, goodness, I just woke up, and now I'm going to be eaten. But you're not. I'm going to let you go right now. There you go. Hop right in the water. There you go. Well, that brings to a close another one of our video journals called Wild Cape Cod. And here, standing amongst the leather leaf and sweet pepper bush in a wetland in West Brewster, I want to thank you very much for watching and encourage you to always be aware of your surroundings, especially in nature. You're driving carefully, but there's always stuff to look at. You're walking down the road, there's always things to see. Even out your window in the morning or the afternoon, there are birds, there are animals. Be aware of the beauty around you, especially during the resurgence of spring, because this is a time of rebirth, of rejuvenation, migratory birds returning to Cape Cod. Life abounds all around us. 
And that's what we're trying to show you. That's what we enjoy showing you. And we're glad that you're watching. So, see you next time.